Okay guys, the uh, first one is actually one, the first pipe is actually longer than the other one because that actually threads straight through and it fits perfectly. I don't know if you'll be able to see that actually. Oh, yeah, the, the hole that goes, uh, the mould for the top of the figure, the Freddy Krueger mould, goes straight, it's hollow all the way through to the head. So the, po the pipe goes straight through and fits perfectly and snugly straight into the top. And then the second one, it's going to go in there and sit at an angle and then have a second piece of 22mm pipe that's going to fit straight down the middle and bridge the gap as you can see and hold the other two in place and all that is going to be um, glued together using a two pair epoxy glue which will make it all solid ready for the sculpting Okay, so we're using the two part epoxy glue. Now, believe it or not, this only cost a pound from uh, my local pound shop. And you can go to places like B&Q and Wix and buy it, buy it from uh, places like that, but you'll be paying a lot more. And it does pretty much the same thing. Obviously, I'm talking to my subscribers who live in the UK. I'm sure you must have like a dollar store that does a DIY section in, in America or, or any other countries that you live in. Uh, that you could get this from but this stuff is absolutely fantastic it when it dries it's rock hard it's as hard as when you mix a uh, two part uh, epoxy putty together and it sticks like uh, <laughs> like anything so what we're going to do is we're going to um, pump some two part epoxy glue into the head inside of the head uh, we're going to let it pool up I'm gonna put quite a lot in there and then I'm going to thread the pipe in and let that set and then I'm going to do the same, put the two pipe box glue around there and glue that into the side. Okay, that's successfully pulled into the head. Now, obviously, with two part epoxy glue, you've got to mix it together. So, what I've got here is an old paintbrush. I'm going to thread that down and give it a little mix. Okay. So, I'm just going to lean that off just off camera. The longest one of the two. So, smear that out in there. Perfect. Okay, so that's that one in. I'm going to let that set and then do the second one. Okay, so I actually used a, a full tube of, of two-part epoxy glue on that, just in uh, putting the first tube in. So let's get rid of that. Okay, so I've got that 
into the bin. And crack open another one. Okay, let's insert the second one. Let's first pump it some of the two pack epoxy glue in. these two in. This one's inside yet but that's what this second piece is. It's going to thread down the middle and hold them both into place. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to dip this in the two part box of glue. It's going to pop in there for a second. And first it's just going to be rolling around in it. Like so. So a quick safety notice if you're going to be using any two part epoxy glue. This does get quite hot as it's drying. Uh, I've run out of time on this, so I mixed a lot together and that's just cooling off now but it did get in very very hot um, as it was cooling, as it, sorry, as it was drying. I have had instances in the past where I've done, which one was it, uh, I think it was my Donatello uh, figure that I unfortunately lost the footage for um, but I still have this guy to do so you're gonna st still see how I did it but when I uh, did the two packs epo two pack epoxy glue his head got very hot here so please be careful if you're gonna be using that as you can see it can get a bit messy when I'm doing my projects <coughs> but uh, I've gone ahead and put the two pack epoxy glue around the base of the bust and around the edges of the piping and then once that dries they'll all be solid and then I'll go in and trim the middle pipe so it's level with this and then we can go ahead and start sculpting the legs and the feet now when the two part epoxy glue is pumped into here it does add some weight uh, so I, I have to make sure that it's not top heavy but to be fair when all the clay goes on and I pack it out with a tin foil and I use the two part epo epoxy putty milly put for the feet uh, that actually gives it an, around about an equal uh, weight ratio from the top to the bottom. So whilst we're, wait, we're waiting for the uh, two part epoxy glue to set on the actual figure, I thought as a nice little uh, added bonus I'd show you what the two part epoxy glue is actually like once it's dried. So this is the one that I mentioned got quite hot when it dries and this is fully cured now. Peel it off. And as you can see, it almost looks like it's uh, like sticky uh, toffee. And it's rock hard. So once that adheres to both sides, it's not going anywhere. I've gone ahead and wrapped his legs with tin foil to pad it out a little bit and then wrapped the whole thing in masking tape. And I've used uh, two part epoxy glue to glue the tin foil to the base of the bust. I've also gone in and used some wooden dowels there as you can see. There's two that I've glued together and then glued them to the PVC pipe again using the two part epoxy glue. And now we're going to go ahead and start applying the clay ready for sculpting.